Okay, welcome back to the channel and the continuation of the Tamiya T55. So, I didn't want to attach the upper hull. We remember in the last part, we worked on the upper hull, we got all the bits and bobs on it, changed a few things that we needed to. And I didn't want to attach the upper hull to the lower hull um, because of uh, ease of painting, shall we say, and weathering. However, when I came to the, the last two bits um, for the, the upper hull, uh, which are these sort of brackets here, unfortunately, they fit onto this back panel as well as uh, the, the fenders. So the back panel is part of the lower hull assembly. So we had to. Um, so that's all been glued in place. Um, and the upper hull is now on. I've left the supports in there. I can move that around still using that bit of dust um so yeah that's that um what we did do was replace the the weld seam at the front here because it, it just wasn't good enough these ones on the side are fine um but we did replace that with some stretch sprue etc lots of videos online showing you how to do that so go and have a look at that if you need to um yeah so the upper hull's done so in this video we're going to be working on the turret um so i have done a little bit stuff that you know is is very very basic um and the stuff that isn't i can show on this um so the turret has this cast uh texture into the plastic as well as the the weld seams uh the weld seams look good to my eye um, they look in scale, they look detailed enough. So I don't propose to replace those. We've had to drill two holes here. Um, it's requesting for version E that you drill two holes on the side, which we haven't, and then this hole here. And I'll explain why we haven't. Um, so also there's two sort of um, locating points here. Now you can see what I've done is just use a bit of cut off sprue uh, to fill those holes um, and then we'll cut those off so and then what we're going to do is add some more cast texture um, to it using Mr Surfacer and the reason we're doing that is the cast texture in the plastic although it's there it's not pronounced enough uh, to my eye so we're going to add some cast texture but before we do that we need to add a few more bits um, to it so the instructions are very very clear uh, in relation to the turret it's telling you version a and e drill these holes as i say we haven't done those because we're not putting that on i don't think um storage boxes etc drill these holes out depending on which version and then as you go through the instructions it's telling you version a version b version c version d and then we're on to e um, right at the bottom here which we're not following this as such so we're not going to build these storage boxes because we're not going to use them i built this commander's cupola here um which was what four pieces five pieces so that's gone together that's in place now um for the time being so that's there we're having the hatches closed um, and then we're basically onto this step. So you can see here where it's saying attach these, these storage boxes is why I didn't drill these two holes here. Um, and it's certainly why I've filled these two sort of divots here, uh, or will be filling them um, because we're not putting those on. And the reason we're not putting those on um, is because on the reference picture I've seen from the African Union ones, they're not there. Um, so we're not gonna put them on. Um, we've put these two bits on the front, that's fine. So we can see those there at the side of where the uh, the mantlet cover will be. Mantlet cover and barrel we're not putting on because we're going to paint those separately. Um, and that's it. So essentially all we need to do is we need to build uh, this bit here, um, which is why I didn't glue that on because I had a feeling that this commander's cupola should be in this pit here with this this extra piece here so there we go you can see 
what we're going to do is do that. So we're looking for B16, we'll put that on, and then we're putting these grab handles on um, and all the various covers and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then obviously we've got the, uh, the machine gun. Uh, we are putting the machine gun on um, because um, it's on the reference pictures, essentially. They're showing it with the machine gun on. So we're going to use that. And um, we're going to be putting the searchlight on as well. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to do this bit and put these grab handles on. As I say, those bits we've already done, so we don't need to worry about those. So that's B1, B2. Get rid of those. Um, and it's telling you, obviously, make sure they're fitting nice and flush. So C4 and C5 will come to, but for now, let's get the, uh, the Commander's Cooper on. So B16, which is this piece here. And remember, just cross-reference it against which version you want to do. Um, and obviously, like I'm doing, depending on your reference pictures, and, you know, these things were used by so many nations um, that everything will be slightly different. So we'll take the majority of that off, and then all we'll do again is just go around with the UMP sander and just clean that up. And there we go, lovely. So this should fit, we've got locating points here and here um, on this bit, which should all be an equal fit into these two bits here. Like so, which it does perfectly. So that's awesome, we don't have to mess around with that too much. Um, so yeah, happy with that. So that's where that's going. So what we can do is we can use a bit of extra thin again and just on the inside of the, the ring here, we'll just put a little bit to hold it in place. And then that should fit nicely. Guide it into place, like so. Let's make sure we slide that home. Now, if you're gonna add cast texture, um, I would suggest that you put these bits on first because, for example, here is not cast. That's just a steel plate. Um, and what we don't want to do is be going over bits and then having to take off the cast texture we've added in order to fit these bits. So it's horses for courses, really, whatever you choose to do. Um, but if you're going to add some cast texture, I would do that afterwards and just be careful, and I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. So there we go. That's that's exactly where we want it. And then the commander's cupola. So make sure your vision ports are obviously towards the front. And there's some locator marks there. And that's just going to push into place. And hopefully it should be nice and flat and central. It doesn't move, and then what we can do is we can add a bit of extra thin on the inside just to hold that in position, like so. Lovely. So, the other side, which is going to be essentially the driver's hatch, is much simpler, much simpler. Um, and then we've got this, this metal plate here above the valve seam, which is an, another good reason not to do the cast texture yet, because you'll struggle to uh, to fit that on there if you've got the uh, the cast texture added to the turret already. Um, so hopefully these are gonna be dry by the time we've finished, and then I can show you exactly how I'm gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is C4 and C5, find spruce C, which shouldn't be too difficult, he says. <laughs> Best laid plans and all that, folks. Best laid plans. Oh, 
Let's get that in. So we need C4 and C5. Here we go. So spruce C. So four and five, we'll get those on and then I'll come back um, and show you where we're at. And I'll, I'll have all these pieces ready, hopefully. So we'll uh, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're cracking on with the turret. Um, so I've attached a grab handle here. C4 and five, we've put on which of these covers. Um, so yeah, the, what's really cool about this grab handle, there's only one locating point and then you kind of move it into position. So that, that's quite an easy way of doing it really. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the grab handles on this side, these two larger grab handles here. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and then we're gonna build the commander, uh, sorry, driver's hatch. Um, so the driver's hatch B20, dead simple, should be. He says, how have we got the right sprue, did not it? So we'll clean that up in exactly the same way as we did with the other. So literally we just need to brush over those areas where we've removed it from the sprue. Job done. Now that fits so it would actually open that way towards the front of the turret. Um, so that kind of fits in that position there and it should all be in equal. We've got this locating piece in the middle and it should just fit on there, hopefully. So you can see this kind of inner bit there in the shape of a circle. So that should just fit on, but for some reason, it's not, not going in. So, that's very strange. Maybe it should be raised. I mean, generally with Tamiya, if it doesn't fit, um, then it's something you're doing wrong. So what we'll do is we'll get the, the hinge off. Um, and maybe that holds it in place. So maybe it is supposed to be raised. Who knows? We're about to find out. So these holes we had to pre-drill. It told us that. Um, and what we want is the kind of slanted bit facing to the rear of the turret. Um, so we'll pop that in there. Holes were sort of marked, but we had to drill them. And it appears that they've... Uh, Mark them in exactly the right place, which is great. It's almost a push fit, to be fair. We will put some glue on the inside just to just to hold it. But it is very tight fit. It tells us a one mil hole, and it is a one mil hole, and that's that's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. So then this, which is the driver's hatch, apparently. It's in there, so it looks like it should be raised. Fair enough. Fair enough. So what we can do is a bit of extra thin now around this piece. Just to hold it in place. And then we'll add some extra thin once it's in place to the actual hinge. Because as I say, I'm going to have these hatches closed. So we don't need to worry about them opening. Um, yeah, very strange that, but that's the way it's supposed to be. So it's not flush. Um, and then yeah, just drop a bit of extra thin in there and that will just hold it where we need it to. Lovely. Okay. So just need to focus on these grub handles. So I'll do one. I'm conscious of it. You know, we don't see the same thing over and over again. It's a bit pointless, really. So we'll do A42. It should be straightforward. So we'll do A42. So we just cut that off. Just be careful with these. They are going to be fragile when you're removing them from the sprue. So it's got that natural curve in it anyway. 
and sort of pre-molded in as it goes around the turret. So with these kind of bits here where we've removed it, just a sharp blade, take the excess off very gently because you don't want to snap it. Uh, I mean, you can glue it back together, but it'd be an absolute nightmare. Or you'd have to sort of fabricate one from sort of copper wire or something. And then take a, a less coarse sander because you don't want to put any friction on this really and just clean up where you've removed it like so and then we're just going to glue that into there so drop a glue on each side and then hopefully that will stick on and stay in place. He says, let's try some tweezers. Oh dear, oh dear. So it's quite tricky. You need about 15 hands to get it in the right position, but it will go. Bit of patience, and there we go. So we've got that one on. I'll do the other one off camera because uh, it's going to be exactly the same process. And then pretty much everything that we're putting on the turret at this stage should be there. And then I'll show you how I'm going to do the cast texture. So, uh, see you in a minute. Okay, folks. So, the turret is pretty much done now. Um, so, I had to kind of have a bit of a change of plan. So, actually, once I started to put the cupolas and the hatches and all that stuff on, um, this cast texture that I was going to replace um, actually doesn't look bad at all in the weld seams it actually looks in scale um so i'm not going to do that uh, i'm not going to add any cast texture to it because i think it looks okay um once i started adding the bits on it became obvious it, it was it was where it should be so well done to me um all the bits and bobs around as you can see all the searchlights and that sort of stuff i was going to leave this mantle cover off um for ease of painting really but We've got this kind of mechanical arm um, that attaches to the searchlight plate. Um, and that also attaches to um, the mantle cover. Um, so unfortunately, that meant that I had to, because this obviously got to be painted the same color as the hull, um, that I had to put the mantle cover on um, in, a, in order to do that. So not a problem. It's just going to require a bit more careful painting of this mantle cover but the texture you can see is brilliant um so once that's painted that's going to look awesome uh we've cut off and sanded these two bits flush that's fine um yeah and then we're, we're pretty much there the only thing that we haven't done for the turret is the barrel um we have the aber metal barrel um so essentially it's a one-piece metal barrel with a couple of bits of photo etch that go uh, around it um, just to add a bit of detail to it. So I'll do that off camera. It is literally a case of bending this photo etch around the barrel and um, putting the end on, etc., etc. So there's nothing, uh, nothing groundbreaking about that, really. Um, so it is what it is. We'll get the barrel done. And then, essentially, we're going to be into paint. Um, so the next video is going to be getting the base colours on this. Um, what I have done, which I always do, is cut these locating tabs off the turret. Um, they're supposed to slot into the hole and then it's, it doesn't move. Um, it kind of turns. I think they're more trouble than they're worth. You know, at the end of the day, we're not going to be handling this and moving it around the, the desk and stuff. So there's no requirement for them. And that will just slot into place. I've left these support struts in currently. They will stay on uh, for the entire painting process, really. And then right at the end, they'll be cut off and the turret added um, on top of it. 
but it just makes painting so much easier because you can move it round and, and it just gives that structural integrity to the upper hull before we put the turret on it. So we're at that stage now um, where we're, we're kind of getting ready for paint. Um, off camera, I'm going to just put that photo etch on the barrel um, and then we're good to go. Um, obviously, the barrel is metal, uh, so I'll be using a, a metal primer on the barrel um, rather than sort of normal UMP primer. Not that there's anything wrong with UMP primer, but it's not designed for metal. Um, the odd bit of photo etch is fine, but this sort of big chunk of, of aluminium, um, which I believe it is, it, it's just going to come off. And it's telling us there to key, key the metal and stuff, so we'll do that. That's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Go and check out umpresale.com um, where you can get a lot of the stuff that you've seen me use in this video, sanders and all that sort of stuff, glue holders. There's a plethora of stuff on there. And go and check out emodels.co.uk um, who are kind of supply the kit and the storage set. Um, so until next time, guys, stay safe. Happy hobbying. Bye-bye.